Hello, hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are on the call. I welcome you to the developers focus group meeting again today. And uh, I'm already seeing people on the call. Hello, Michael. Hello, Aga. Hello. Hello. It's good to see you here Hello. again. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so um, please let us know how your week has been. Let me see. Let me share my screen now. Okay. All right, um, so can everyone see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Sorry? I can see your screen. Okay, great. Uh, so um, we'll start the meeting now. I would like to welcome new contributors to the team. And I think um, Rugwe is doing that for the first time. If you can um, unmute, please unmute and introduce yourself to us. If not, you can do that in the chat session. Okay. okay. Uh, let me move. <laughs> I'm not sure who is um, after the volume check. Okay, good day, everyone. All right. Okay, so um, we would have loved that you introduce yourself. If you can do that in the chat session, it's fine. All right, you're welcome. Uh, okay, so let's talk about updates. What have we been doing since the past two weeks? uh so i would like us to start with the last meeting's action items um one of the items is um that we should resolve issues that's mandated by the dei working group before the next step meeting i am happy to share that we were able to pull that off thanks to gift she's on the call and this morning is this one on the call? Let me check. Please let me see your reactions, guys. <laughs> Everyone. They actually did pretty well on it. So um we we um are going to be deploying soon. Um there were a couple of issues that prevented us from deploying before the budget working group, the DI working group yesterday, but then we are going to resolve that as soon as possible and then we should have the new functionality running, up and running. So um, that's that. And then uh, another action item is that um, GIFT will be meeting with Harmony to discuss placing images in the dock. Um, before I go on, can anyone hear me? Because people are silent. You're not giving me reactions that you are on the call. Yes, good afternoon. Okay. We can hear you. Can hear you. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> because nobody is replying me. I can't see the reactions I asked for. So I was wondering oh. if anyone can hear me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. So um, I'd like to hand over to Gift. Uh, so you you are supposed to meet with Harmony to discuss placing images in the... Were you able to achieve that? And then you have the next item on the agenda to, to meet with Desmond to resolve a search and filter functionality for the Air Force project. Yes. So um, Harmony um, added that to an issue and... Uh, but when he sent me the issue link, um, it was already assigned to someone else who indicated interest in working on it uh, for the placement of images in the doc. Then for Desmond, I met up with Desmond and um, I, he gave me clarity on the blocker I had for the AFOS project. And I, I have worked on the search and filter functionality and the pull request is 
is ready. I just waiting for um Catherine to check that out. Wow, that's interesting. Thank you so much for working on that. So what remains now is that Catherine should match, right? Should review and then match. Yes, yeah, should review. Then maybe if there's a anything that maybe she wants me to improve on, I can go back and improve on it. Okay. Comedy. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I think that's about the major. Um, I'm happy that we were able to pull off all the action items that we discussed. That's some progress. That's a good one. Okay. So um, today, what I would like us to do is one simple thing. Not simple, one single thing. And um, it's concerning the October 1st. How many of us know about October 1st? Let me see you raise your hands up if you know about it very well. Okay. I'm trying to make this meeting as participatory as possible. So please, could you just, okay, Michael. Um, all right. So I'm assuming that other people don't know about it, right? Yeah, I've heard about it, but I've not actually known about the details or experienced it so, because I joined before, after October last year. So. Oh, okay. Okay, great. All right, you can lower your hands now, Michael. So, um, so October first is like um, a contribution um, event, like open source contribution event, where developers, people that have to anything to do with open source that like to contribute to open source projects, come together. There is a company that sponsors this this period to um for people to come together and then contribute to open source projects it's usually through the month of october so even registrations have started um i don't have the link with me currently um i can always add it to the talk but it or if anyone on the call has the link to registration or if you, if you check them out on twitter or even on, on websites you'll be hearing calls for registration so if you are interested please go ahead and um, check it out but on our home part as a focus group i would like us to um like come together just this moment before we we go to actually um look at the projects we have on ground uh, and see what and what needs to be done We'll look at it together, uh, what we would like people to contribute to in the next one month, so that by the time we then note this, uh, we convert it to issues, because um, we need to really know what we want to do first, and then sit down and make it well detailed, because different levels of contributors are going to be coming into our community around that period. And uh, uh, the assumption that we should make is that they are new contributors that don't really know so much, which is why I was mentioning to Amoni that you should please join this call. And the reason is because we need to very quickly, as urgently as possible, update our contribution on MB Guide to be so detailed, even for the first timer to understand how to contribute effectively. Because one thing I have noticed with um, the latest contributors that we had was that uh, people would create PRs and they would not sign off on those on the on the commits that they have made, right? And uh, some would not even give detailed um, information about the code changes that they had made, right? And all of this um, will not make the PR to to pass all the checks that has been placed um, on that repository, right, for it to be able to be matched successfully. So to reduce the burden on the maintainers and help even the contributors become better, we need to 
be able to guide them to do the right thing as much as possible so there it is Amoni. <laughs> what i've been wanting to discuss with you i'm already saying that right now so um uh, let me check if Catherine is here okay i'm not sure okay um so um i would like to ask gifts or harmony how conversant they are with what's going on with the afos project this one will have been a good person to do this but he's not on the call so um i just want to ask both of you because i know you had mentioned something about our first project at any point in time so actually to be frank i really did not take a look at the documents that has to do with the afos project right i feel like it's i feel like they're focused right now it's more or less and in, in like building the platform but yeah i think i have to do that Hmm. Again, you said they are focused. I, I don't get. I think like more focused in the Air Force project is more on the development aspect of it. Okay, on the development aspect, more than the documentation, right? Yeah, I feel like uh, the documentations might, I feel what they just did was, you know, move things, copy, paste, and the basics. But I would have to okay. split the nice of the method. Okay, okay. What about gifts? Um like I just joined the project, but um I think Harmony is right based on um the fact that everything is focused on the development of the project now. Uh for example, even the front end, everything is not set as with the back end. There's no current back end or databases that we are pulling from. I'm currently using um sample mock data on different um Open African open source mm -hmm. projects populate mm -hmm. the pages and all. And we've since I joined the product, we've not really had any meeting as regards to um, where we are currently. But we are just focused on building the um, projects. Okay, so actually, the, the there shouldn't be another meeting. This should be all the develop. This this meeting should actually include all of the projects that are ongoing. But um, <laughs> that's why we have different people leading because um, I can't, I don't think I want to handle so many things at the same time so I can be as effective as possible. So that's why Catherine is handling the Alphas project. She should, she when she's on the um, developer's uh, call, I will, I will ask her to come around so that um, she can bring everybody up to speed on what is uh, to be done with the Hafas project. So, um, Amani has raised his hand. Please go ahead. So, actually, what what I wanted to say is, I think we could all just have like a 10 to 20 minutes or to 30 minutes sync where we we'll tend to evaluate what's needed. Because uh, one thing about documenting, I think it's an open source project is a bit tailored to the project itself the project that the document is actually meant for, we would need to know some requirements or some things to aid proper direction or proper description from technologies that are going to be used, from pictures and illustrations where they should be and stuff like that. So it's going to help in refining the documents and improving on them. So that we don't have to revisit these documents again and again. I get you. Um, Winifred, hello, are you there? Yeah, I... <laughs> Please, can I ask you to be my note taker again? I think we should even start um, assigning note taking to people. It's because Amoni right. has really mentioned something very important now. Okay. Um, this should be done on the... Okay, so let me see. On that October first, things to be done. Okay. Let's have a sync. So how many have suggested that let's have a sync? You can continue from where I stopped. Let's have a sync. 
so that we can tailor the documentation to each product. Okay. Mm. Okay. So right now, what I want us to quickly do for the next um, probably 10 to 15 minutes, if you have gone through the budget project before, let, please could you could you indicate by raising your hands? Let me know how many people are conversant with the budget project. Let's see, Jeff, how many? Mm -hmm. Who else? Nelson, are you there? I'm not seeing your hands. Yes, I'm here. I just sorry. I just kept a few minutes. I don't know what you are raising our hands for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I caught you there, actually. <laughs> So I was asking. <laughs> so I was asking um, for people who are conversant with the budget project, the budget website, the budget API. Okay, I'm conversant. I'm conversant with the, the website. I've not actually looked through the API part. Okay. All right. So um, let me open the budget website. If we can't. Um, we can't uh, talk about the efforts at least let's talk about the budget by the way we have okay let me let me just um we have uh, what we call on boarding docks now right so um People who are just coming into the project can actually look into those docs to know what is ongoing in the community, and then we can um, they can get up to speed with what we are doing and be able to look out for projects that they might be interested in. Okay, so this is what I want us to do together today. I want us to take a look at this website. I'm going to be explaining. Um, what it's supposed to do at every point in time so we'll just take a look at the page and then talk about what needs to be done and then we note down what should be done um the note sticker we note this down i'm also going to put it down from there we convert it into an issue because i discovered that um, sometimes when we come together to do something in the moment we get it done faster than say oh we will we will um we will just we'll go home and think of what is ha um, what, what we need to do so that we never get back to it, right? So let's, let's, let's just jump on it and see what we can achieve today. So for the badging website, for people who are not conversant with the badging website, so what the badging project does is to give is like an in a award system like like a, it's an initiative by chaos project that then awards badges to open source projects and events so everything that we have done in the back end all aims to achieve this you know we want to recognize and acknowledge efforts in diversity equity and inclusion in open source communities and so we award badges for people that are that are um, that, that are concentrating their efforts in this area. You get so when when people come to this website, for instance, now they either want to badge their events or they want to badge their projects. And what I mean by project is it could be a community, it could be like an open source software and all that so for instance now the chaos project is a project and they could then come in here and say that they would like to badge their project and so they go through all of this process okay um let me send let me send the let 
let me send let me send the um, link to the door to the chat session rather okay so if you are on your phone or on your system you can click on it i'm just going to give us like say five minutes um everybody look to uh, look through the, the the website and let's talk about um what needs to be improved in this area so again let me quickly run through through what's the the, the user journey as much as i can so this um project now project badging once someone once a user comes in here they go through this um information this is how it works they look through here they click on these links if they are not sure what to do i don't want to click on them now because of time and then they go through all of that then when you are budging the project it's, it's asked it's asked for a dei.md file in your github or gitlab repository that you are hosting the project in and so what the bot behind this uh, this software does is to look for that dei.md file and to ensure that that file follows a particular uh, template that contains certain metrics that we look to to be able to measure that um okay so this project is indeed following um dei uh, practices right they are actually practicing dei in their community and then um, look at the, the type of badge that um, this the, the, the bot awards the project. Now, for then, look, if you look at it here, we talk about the number of badges that we, the number of projects that we have badged. This is a table. I know that, <laughs> I know Harmony has a lot to say on this table, so we're just going to listen. So, this is project badging. Now, the second one is event badging. Event badging is more for open source events. And this one is, you know, rather than a project that runs for a long time, this one is periodic. So once we badge, you are, you are done with your project, uh, with your with your events, I'm sorry. When you want to do that event again, you have to reapply for another badge. So again, the user goes through the information on, on the home page for the the um, event badging and then they click on uh, all this information now if they want to apply for badging they then say apply for badge then they go to event badging that takes them to so this this was what i said we worked on rather than take me if you notice now it, it took me to the chaos community um website instead of the badging website so we have worked on this it just remains for us to match the changes so um what it do, then does for us is that we go through this and then the person um, if it's an in-person event the person clicks if it's a virtual event they click and then they fill in the information that is requested of them and then they submit and this creates an issue for them and we get the notification that a an event or an event organizer is looking to batch their event and then the lead um, badger assigns reviewers to check the open source event if it is indeed worthy of the batch that we want to assign to them and then they review and once they review um, then we get the results the boat has actually been configured in a way to check for the 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 answers, the responses to the questions, and then grade accordingly. So um, that's just the high level uh, user journey for this project. So let me go back to the website. Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, please you can ask. But in the next five minutes, can we? I'm I'm going to uh, let's look to the screen to see what needs to be done, and then I will call all of us one by one to talk about what you noticed, and then we can put that down as something to work on as an issue. Thank you very much.
Okay. Is that a time we have to get back? Like, like yes, uh, five minutes. Like, like I said, um, is five minutes okay, or should we do ten? This is this is participatory, please. Let's let's do this. I think we should do because of our time. Let's just do five then. While others are talking, some people are will still be looking for them. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Okay, I do know of an issue that needs to be worked on here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I just want to know who is speaking. Hold on. It's gifts. Um, okay, 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 gifts. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, the FAQ page. The FAQ page, okay. Okay, so you know what? Let's just um, let's let's wait for five minutes. After five minutes, then we'll start the conversation so that people can think through what they want to say. Is that fine? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Okay, so I'm going to give us the 340. That's more than five minutes, but let's finish at 340 and I'll come back. Okay. How many? Are you there? How many? Can you hear me? Oh, it's no longer here. Oops. Okay. Hi guys, we are back. Hi everyone. Hi Adinka. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Um. So let me call people according to. Oh, how many are back? I was looking for you. Okay, so um, Nelsie, do you want to go? Okay, now let me go. Um, okay, um, before, before you do, before you do, please, um, um, Winifred, please, could you help me put it down as you listen? I'm also writing, but then help me All right, yeah, so that we can then collect. Thank you. All right, Nelson, you can go ahead. Okay, so the first one is in the 
the home page that apply for badge um, button when you click on it it brings up an option the options when you hover over them it should show you some effects to show you are on event badging or project badging so i'm not seeing the effect I think it right like the way i'm doing right yes yes okay like it doesn't show which one you are above directly above or it's just like when you hover over the main button it shows that i don't know okay i get I'm you understood. Yes. yes i get you then um, the next one is on badging the project badging okay hold on hold on hold on sorry I'm trying to pull it down. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm listening. Well, we, the, the call is being recorded, so we can always go back to the recording. So please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So for the next one is for project badging. Like when you click the option of project badging, it takes you to the page for project badging. The apply for self hosted project, uh, it takes you to another to a Google form. Is it how we want it to be? Or should be a form that should be on the site it, it should be be inside the website so in fact there is an already, issue on it already there is an issue already it has just not been worked on okay i think that's really true so it should okay. be a, thank you a form on, the, on the site thank you so so much Okay, so um, let me see who would like to go next. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so Akindele, Michael. Are you there? Okay, while we are waiting um, because of time, Anita, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. Would you like to go? A question. Sorry? Sorry, I didn't get what you said I should do. I'm saying that would you like to go next? Is it to read or to ask a question? Um, so we were going through the website to see any issue that might arise, you know, what we can improve on, on the website. So I'm asking if you saw anything. Okay. It's fine if you do not. I, I can always... And I was having a network glitch. So I didn't really... Oh, okay, no problem. Let, let me move on to another person. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I forward. Um, did you see anything we could improve on? Okay, I would like to go to gift. Okay, um, the let's click on events badging, the nav bar. Okay. Then budget of bar, uh, okay. And you switch the tab from about event budget to badged events. Okay. It takes the highlights off of um, event budget and it doesn't show what page you're currently on based on the nav bar. But like when you switch it back, it comes Okay, up yeah. Up. You mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, so we should well, it, does, it doesn't still happen have, when you're, yeah, it doesn't happen when you're on project budget page. On project budget page, when you switch, it's the it still um shows that yes, you're on this page. Oh, okay, I can see, I can see the difference now. Okay, so when you move to budget project, okay, and uh, budget project, the table, so I'm sorry, on project budget, then when you switch to Badged events, the table, it's it needs to the padding and the when you switch to badged events. 
no the no budget projects sorry bash projects on that project okay. but yeah the padding of the, the, the table, table items <laughs> yeah yeah it needs work <laughs> and uh, the the badge is so small yeah i have to i don't know about others but like i have to zoom to like see the details of the badge it has to like be yeah, yeah, increased it's, and it's really uh, small, yeah. yeah it's really small i have to zoom in to see it well so okay. increase the size of the um the dei badge then the table pattern is is too is too much it's too wide so we can like reduce the pattern of the table okay. and um i think another obvious one is the faq page uh it hasn't been implemented mm -hmm. yet so to implement the faq page it has oh. to wait it hasn't click events when i clicked event badging and things came up Oh, is well, when, you it's, when you click the FAQ page, before showing this, it shows it just shows a list that like needs to be that can be run. missed out if you are not. Uh, very oh, popular. okay. When you yeah, so, it, so what what she's trying to say? Sorry, go ahead, please. It it doesn't yeah. show anything. Like at least there should be like um, attention that is placed to either of these two. Am I right? Oh, yes yes mm -hmm. okay so what do you suggest um should be done here um i just uh, checked the design and there's actually a design for this page but the design has not actually been implemented mm -hmm. so we should check the design I mean, yes you can I always mean, send it so that we can include it in the in the dev doc that's very important okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ouch. All right. Um, let me go to the next person. Um, Harmony. <laughs> Did you hear me when I said um, you have a lot to say about that table? Actually, I have a lot to say. I think I have more to say. <laughs> Please um, go ahead and say everything. So, <laughs> so I, I think first and first, I've spoke about the table before. A couple of things about the table. Okay. One, it needs to accommodate more events. Can you guys hear me? Yes, clearly. Okay, so the event table needs to accommodate more event listings. Yeah, I've reduced the size. It was bigger than this the time I met it. But it needs to accommodate more event listings. It could be longer. I think four is a small number. It could be five or eight or ten. But it needs to accommodate more to reduce the pages that people can skip to. That's mm -hmm. one. Secondly, we have issues on the pagination. I think that's very visible and I've created an issue on it. We have issues on the pagination, the color, it's not visible. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I'm, I'm responding. You can see me responding on the, on the page. Okay. See. So the color stuff, we, we, we should be able to see the numbers before clicking on them. That's the point yep. about the pagination. So but I, have, I have a question before I move forward. I saw the table tag as DEI events. You see that all the events here, why the, type, the actual title, DEI events? Um, where? Where did you say? The title of the table, DEI events. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Is there okay. any reason why that's the title? Um, I'm because not sure. I, I don't think I know. I could ask, but yeah, why are you asking? Because I feel like it's limiting Okay, what do you mean? Uh, I feel like DEI is passing a, a, a wrong message to somebody that don't know what it means, right? If there's a reason why it is called that way, then it's fine. But I think event is okay, not DEI event. So event okay. can be... I would ask. So we, an event can actually observe DEI, but it's not about DEI. I don't know if you understand. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So I, I also think that we could do better in terms of the filtering in the events, both in the badge does not even work. and also the events that I, I do not want to say it doesn't work yeah but <laughs> we, could, we could do better in terms of field <laughs> no no you so well, that we can know it, it, we could do better is different from it doesn't work so that we know the person picking up the issue we know that it doesn't work so that they know where to start from okay okay let's go on let's but starting with starting with um the search button i don't know if the event is disturbing you guys but starting with the search button it's not responsive as it should and I think you you check it, and I don't know yep. if you get what I'm saying. It's not responsive as it should. I did. So in terms of filter, so the set and fake tab functionality does not work. Yeah. So in terms of the filter highlights, I think we could have more filters. In terms of grouping the events, people need to know if these are conferences, these are uh, initiative, this is a working shop. And all of that i don't know if we are taking that data but i think it's important to be able to differentiate so we can be able to keep metrics like we have been able to badge 200 conferences and one workshop i don't know if that's making sense i think it's something mm. that's going to be nice to take data for okay can i go on please go ahead it's so i also, recorded so i also Okay, I also think that we are not doing good in terms of error handling. So it's just like when you start for C Code Africa, right? The, the search button should be able to tell you that in the in the table there, it should be able to tell you that this event does not exist or this event has not been collected. So error handling should be important in passing the right message. I don't know okay. if you understand, or yes, it does yes. not exist, or there's an error or something. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. So you could also notice that we have issues in terms of responsiveness. You're done with filter, but it's still showing in the table when you're at the search button. So we have issues in terms of responsiveness. Hmm. It should automatically collapse without you doing it manually. That's one. Mm. Okay, please. Um, uh, Winifred, are you able to keep up? Hello, Winifred. Is she on the call? Yeah, okay. I think she's, she's on the call. Okay. I, I want to say something that's off the, the website that I think it's good for enhancement. So I feel like people visit this website beyond just taking notes of this data. I think it's going to be nice to add a section where they can click a link or, or a page is going to display where it could tell people how they can contribute on the badging project. I think it's something that we are not doing chaos in general, which I'm not sure, where in the project website itself, beyond GitHub, we should be able to tell people how they can contribute, contribute on that to particular project. project. Okay. okay. Yes. So, because people can, I can just storm on the website via Google search by mistake, and I don't know it's an open source project in as much as it's into chaos. Not everybody knows about chaos, right? But the fact that there is a section in the website, either through the FAQ or the about us, that could display a way that you can contribute to the project itself, speaks volume that it is an open source project. Nice. I think it's something that can be added across all our projects because some of us use this project but we don't know that it's open sourced thank you so much yeah i think that's all for now i've created some of these issues for this but not all of them i will look into it um Rukwe. again i was asking if i pronounced your name properly i didn't get an answer but please go ahead All right. Good evening. So I, I was raising my hands a um, little while, while ago. I was, I'm kind of distracted, so I didn't go through the website. So, but I'm just trying to pay attention and watch. This is my first time here. 
And I'm trying to get my hands on anything I can. Okay, thank you. You see, I haven't answered my question. Sorry, please. What's the, what the question? <laughs> I asked if I pronounced your name properly. Okay. Um, well, you tried, you did well, but the arrow is silent, so it's Ugwe. Ugwe, okay. Ugwe, yeah. is that fine? Yes. Yeah. Ugwe. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. You're welcome. All right. No problem. Um, I know that as um, as you go on with the project, you become more familiar and then you'll be able to make more contributions. Thank you very much. Um, let me go to Peculiar. Hi, Peculiar. Hi, everybody. Hi, you're welcome. Um, yeah. Ah, can you, I, I can hear you. What did you say? I said, I said I came in for another meeting. I don't know you guys are still on. Oh, okay, 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 okay then, no problem. Let me move quickly to Winifred. We'll be out of this space in two minutes. Hi, Winifred. Brenda, yeah. So, Hi. okay. Uh, I brought this for earlier. My network keeps me out. Yeah, okay. and um, I didn't, um, I don't say I really noticed anything apart from maybe the issues with maybe grammar because there were some things I really could not understand and um, maybe full stops that we missed. But that, that, that's basically it. Yeah. That's also really important. Anything. Oh, okay. That's also important. Thank you very much. So let's just note it all. Um, somebody's still raising hands, right? Okay. Open me. Okay, gift. Okay, okay. I'm listening. You want to say something, right? Hello. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I think uh, maybe uh, let's go. Okay. So I, I don't want us to go past um, four o'clock because. Another um, meeting is going to come up now. So thank you very much, everyone. This has been a productive meeting. And um, I look forward to doing more with you all. So um, see you in two weeks' time. And um, I'm, we are going to work towards making sure that all of these issues are put into consideration and then they are created on the repo. Thank you. Um, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. So please, are they come? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Can I hear me? Yes. Um, Can another I meeting is supposed now? to start. Will you, will you DM me? Another meeting should start now. Yes. Yes. I'll do okay, that. Okay, bye. Okay, now. see you. Okay. Uh, let me stop recording. Okay. Hey, Arinenka, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Just saying hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, sorry we time. went past. Oh, it's okay. Just one. It's, it's no problem. <laughs> All right, let me just stop sharing now. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Give it a minute here. There was another meeting that went right up to this spot. I'm going to drop off really fast and come back as chaos community. It's already recording, Matt, if oh, you don't want to do Did it just keep going from the last meeting? Yeah.
Um, <laughs> like apparently. <laughs> I, I, I can lock. I think we should probably have a separate recording. So otherwise, that'll be a real pain for you, Elizabeth. Right, I'm going to stop. Awesome.